The Wilson College of Textiles has been here for nearly 125 years at NC State University. It's a, a beautiful campus where we do everything that's involved in textiles from beginning to end. So when a student comes into the school, one of the major things they ask is, what are we doing about sustainability? As a university, as a college, we need to confront the idea that textiles has not been the most sustainable product out there. The Zeiss Textile Extension is an extension unit that you may see in a lot of universities around, around the world. We're teaching industry about textiles and we have courses both on ground, hands-on and online uh, to learn everything you wanted to know about textiles. Here, uh, Extension is uh, research and development. We also have economic development. So we create partnerships with different companies trying to bring forth ideas. One example of you know, the, the collaboration of Cotton Incorporated and, and NC State that involves sustainability is utilizing the availability of Texcoat system that they currently have in their laboratories. I have more than 30 years in the textile industry and when I saw the technology that Baldwin has put together, Texcoat G4, that's what I found exciting. So the textile industry is accustomed to pad finishing. You take the fabric and dip it into a bath, you saturate it, you squeeze out the excess, and then you dry and cure the fabric depending on the finish that's being applied. Texcoat G4 comes along and instead of saturating the fabric, now we're precisely adding on only the amount of finish that you need on the fabric. The good thing about that is you can reduce the amount of uh, pickup or the amount of moisture or water that's required to carry the chemical onto the fabric. So imagine now that your fabric is much drier going into the tenor frame. It needs a lot less energy to dry off the fabric and you can increase your production speeds. The students get, want to be involved in their future and their future is making sustainable products. So this industry is changing from what we consider sort of antiquated model to this high-tech industry where the computers and the robots are manufacturing these items for them.